uh, with Ice, Ice Cube at the uh, Soul Train Award, Ice Cube and Mac-10, and we're outside, and I have my, my shirt that said Blunt Time Entertainment, Blunt Time Management Entertainment. I have my, my T-shirt on, and so I'm taking a picture. I'm in the middle, and Ice Cube is on one side, and Mac-10 is on the other side. Look, ten, Mac-10 look at my shirt, and Ice Cube look at my shirt, and it says Blunt Time Entertainment. He said, you got bigger balls than I do. And I was like, you know what, Q? I do got bigger balls than you, buddy. First of all, Blunt's my last name. And it is Blunt Time Entertainment, Blunt Time Manager. It's Bluntastic around here, baby. Um, I, got bull, I got bull nuts. If you ain't got bull nuts, Q, you need to sit down. I'll hit you with these nuts and knock you out. You know what I'm saying? I got more cum in my nuts. It, it's like you, you ever eat spaghetti and you keep you can't swallow it. You keep, just keep going and keep going and keep going. You're, like, oh, you're almost going to choke. You're like, when is this spaghetti going to stop? Yeah. That's what it's like around here. Sit down, Q. Blunt Time Entertainment is Bluntastic around here, baby boy. Never judge a book by the cover. You did. I got to give you props. You did say that's brilliant. I tell you, it's my last name. Oh, that's brilliant. Much love to Ice Cube. You're, you're, you're brilliant. Um, you're, you're a legend, baby, for real, what you do. Much love to you, comedian B.I.G. of the Builder, man. We just thinking about some things, that, you know, and Snoop was in the inside. I was there with, with Snoop. My buddy handled Snoop, so I was there for the private uh, recording of Ice Cube, Mac T, and Song, and Snoop that they did on the Soul Train one for Don. Soul Train! You know what I mean? I was there, man, live recording. It was off the chain, man. And Snoop is, is a fool, man. You know, I'd have been with Snoop a few times. I whooped him in basketball. I'm one up, Snoop. You want to reach and read and rain check? You want to read? We, we go, we, I'll give you another shot, but I'm one and oh, baby. I'm one and oh around here, man. You know, um, that was in the, 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 the backstage after the, after the show, we rocked it. We rocked the basketball go, go. He wanted to, he wanted to, um, he wanted to play some ball, but there's times with, you know, when I sit down with Snoop and man, B.I.G. be like, man, this is, is this real, man? I thought I, you know, I could smoke a little weed back in my young days and, you know, um, but Snoop, I don't think anybody can ask Snoop, Snoop, Snoop. I don't think anybody, if I can't, he, if I can't, I, man, when he smoked me out, he smoked me, he smoked me under the couch down there at the Adams Hotel downtown Dallas, man. I mean, the Pup Pup Tat Pass tour came from me. And we all sitting on the couch, me, Snoop, Trey D was sitting in the back, he was standing up with my boy Earl. And it was some other people. I don't even know. It didn't even matter because Snoop was on the couch, man. And we got to smoke a big bizzo. You want to smoke a big bizzo? Sit down, big bizzo. He called me big bizzo 350 because I weighed about 350. And I whooped his ass. I was spinning and dunking and doing everything. He said, this guy's off the chase. Snoop better love him. And I was a sports agent. So he really respected me. Uh, so we sitting on the couch and we, we the joints just keep coming. And they come round and round like a merry go round, round and round. I'm like, okay, and then if you know it got to the point where I started holding the joint. Pup pup pass, big bizzo. Pup pup pass. That's where the pup pup pass tour came from. On that cow. Pup pup pass, big bizzo. I got stuck. And then I was drinking gin and juice. So I look at the the, the, the gallon on the table and the juice and I'm tripping and I'm looking at Snoop like, is this a video? Is this a video? Am I in the video? Rolling down the street, smoking endo, sipping on gin and juice. Lay back. Rolling down the street, smoking Indo, sipping on gin and juice. I swear I thought I was in the video, Mike. I said, whoa, this is enough. I got to keep my composure. I'm a professional now. I'm a professional now. I'm an agent. I got to keep my composure. Now. I got to get my 350 pounds off this couch without falling on this table and tearing up this man's shit. But, but, but pass, it got to the point where I just couldn't pass no more. I just stuck. I gave it up. I had to quit. Uh, what they call it? A uh, knockout? Tap out, Snoop tap me out. You snap B I G tap me out. I got up off that day, child. I got to go. I'm good, man. I don't need no more, man. I got to drive tonight, man. You get to stay right here. I got to drive, man. So I got up off that couch real slow and smooth and professional and worked my way up out of this room. That was in Dallas, but in LA we finished up the the the, the, the song with uh the, the the taping with the cube and um uh, Ten and Snoop, and we on the highway. Bobby Earl, who handled Snoop through the murder trials, everything. He drove him everywhere. He was a private driver. 
my best friend, childhood buddy. We grew up since 15. So I'm in the game, right? I'm plugged, man. You know what I'm saying? Dude, we're looking forward to meeting me. And my best friend, he bragging on me behind my back. That's, that's what real G's do. What we do, we brag on each other behind their back. You know what I'm saying? We on the highway, the 310, I think it was, the 10 or whatever. Snoop, go, he driving on his that navigator. His, his and hers, the expedition the navigators, right on the death row. So I'm on the passenger side of the Land Cruiser. Snoop tell me to roll my window down. We're on the highway. I stick my hand out the window. He stick his hand, dog stick his hand out the window, give me a handful of chronic. I said, this is a handful of chronic, man. Oh, you got to be kidding, man. Oh, that was beautiful, man. I said, oh, man, this is this is amazing. The coldest, top, best rapper on the planet, Snoop Doggy Dog, man. Man, it was just so many things that happened, man. I put him in the VIP room. First, we we, we after the show, after I whipped his ass in basketball, I said, you want to go somewhere? You want to party? The Deion Sanders had a club. He had a club called Prime Time 21. I'm going to take you to Prime Time 21. I said, I'm going to call the radio and put you on the radio. He said, you ain't got no plug. And he looked at my boy, Bobby River. Bobby River, so he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I called Skip Chief. Bring, 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 bring. Skip, it's your boy, Bo Blunt. B.I.G. I got uh, Snoop over here, man. And this is a Sunday night. We want to put him on the phone so he can talk with him. We're going to do it prime time 21. So Snoop get on the phone. And he talked to Skip, the biggest pre-program director. So I'm tripping him out like, it's blind, we with Blonde Time, man. Blonde Time Entertainment, man. We rolling with. And he had a show with, with Lollapalooza tour. So we couldn't do any radio advertisement. Everything had to be on the table, Lolo. So I put this, made one phone call, put it together. Boom, he got on the radio and now she's going to be at prime time. Boom, I get the whole entourage. And that year, we had the, uh, Farrakhan gave up security because, you know, Shug and, you know, Pac just got died and it was beeping. We the bulletproof, uh, we bought the bulletproof uh, armor truck through Dallas, man. We ride in the bulletproof, you know, tripping. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Security. And then I gave security on top of security. I started running everything, telling everybody what to do. I put this show together, put Snoop in the VIP room, ran Steve Harvey and his security up out of the VIP room because Snoop was coming. He's like, oh, what? I got to I got to go. Snoop coming. And, you know, he's scared. Z Harvey, roof dog. I love you, dog. But you know it happened. You got up out of there quick. Took over the VIP room. I had Perry bottles of Perry Dom, Perry Dom, you know, Dom Perry on. We, you know, bottles on bottles. And the, the Dion's had a seafood platter, man. And I brought to have that oh, setting for Snoop. The line was around the door. Getting the VIP room. The girls want autograph. The blind was around the building that night. Fifty thousand dollar night. Huge night went down, man. I put it down with one phone call, but then I took Snoop Daddy to the uh, to a home with me because he had to get him to go to the airport. And he slept on my couch. Doop doggy dog daddy slept on my couch, man. Doop doop doggy dog daddy slept on my couch. That's real talk. Yeah, I got up all night long, man. It's like, doop daddy dog, doop doop this new dog dog, doop daddy dog, dog dog daddy 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 on my couch. This is not real. The, the, the coldest rap on the planet is daddy on my couch. The nutsack that Snoop come out of his daddy on my couch. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm in the game for real, America. I just don't know. I'm an underground soldier. Let me, I get him to the airport. I didn't sleep at all. Every hour I was popping up like, is this shit real? Is this a dream? Snoop dog, daddy dog, daddy dog on my couch. Snoop doggy dog, daddy on my couch. Keep it right now. Like the three little bears, they get right now, and he's sleeping right now. Look, see. <laughs> Got him to the airport. Boom. Went on to the next city. Much love to you, Snoop. To eat all your chicken, drink all your beer up. Big Bizzo. Earl Bobby Earl, my best friend. Much love for putting it down. Got love for you, for life. We partners for life, man. We still doing this thing. It's been crazy out there, man. Just, you be, then we went to the, um, we're back in L.A. and this is a different time. We're back in L.A. and we go to the uh, L.A. Coliseum, Snoop Dogg High School, L.B.C. in Modern Day Go. Snoop want to go. I say, let's do it. So we go to the game. We're in the Coliseum, L.A. Coliseum. We are way up top. Snoop smoking, Warren G. There, uh, uh, Big C, Little C, the Twins, everybody up in there, man. We just Snoop smoking. The police just knowing, just be keep it low, low, Snoop. He blowing at the high school uh, championship. We up there, we smoking. I'm sitting right behind Snoop and his wife, Shantae. I'm watching they back. I mean, I got Kenny and, and Mark, they the LA, under, undercover LA police. Then with my boys, they, I just took over that night with my production, man. I just took over, man. One call, phone call, made it happen, man. Much respect, respect and much love for what I do out here. 
know what I'm saying? The Snoop Dogg Dog is his greatest, man. He's still doing it, man. Big Bizzle, Big Bizzle, whatever you want, Big Bizzle. I was up in his house. He let me up in his house. I'm trying to get to the airport, so we stopped by Snoop house, drop him off. You know what I'm saying? He, I, I, I'm, he leave me in the house. I'm going through everything. Refrigerator, fax machine. I'm looking at contract. I'm trying to learn from this and see what's really going on the next level. I was just chilling, you know, and Snoop never came out. We went on to the airport. Um... But then we went to Taco Bell, man. We stopped, we stopped at Taco Bell, man. Everybody going inside. I'm standing watching Snoop. I'm in the other car. Snoop burn off. I said, going, I said, man, Snoop just burn off, man. He just burn off, man. Where he go? I don't know, man. He just burn off. Snoop a fool. <laughs> Snoop just burn off, man. Security arrest, they're dropping the orders and shit. They just shoot and you get into Snoop, man. That was a crazy night, man. But much love to Bobby Real to my peoples out there, man. It's your boy comedian Big. I'm in the building, man. You can book me. You can hit me up. I'm uh, uh, I'm all over the place, man. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up. Hit me up.